Welcome back to the Writer's Atelier channel. My name is Megan Fuentes. I'm the Administrative Assistant of Writer's Atelier, and I'm also the instructor of our Build Your Author website with Google Sites course. This video is something of a sampler for that course, but you can find out more at the link in the description. And without further ado, we'll get started. So I'm going to start with a blank template on sites.google.com. And I'm going to go into themes here and I'm going to create something that I like. Now I'm creating this for an imaginary client or an imaginary pen name, we'll say. Um, so I, I was just picking things that I like, but obviously you would want to tailor this to your author brand and your exact color that you have, the fonts that you want to use and so on and so forth. Um, for the images, the header image and all images you can upload almost any way you want on Google Drive, but I'm just going to click something real quick just to get us up and running here. Like I said, you can also change the fonts. You can change it to any Google font, and there's even more than I'm showing here. Um, but for now, I'm going to stick with Playfair Display because I love it, and I'm going to make up a pen name, Julissa Roberts. So if you've ever seen a link in bio type sites, they're all over Instagram, etc. cetera, uh, then you know that it's basically going to be a column of buttons. So that is what we're going to create here, real simple column of buttons. For the links, you'll see I'm putting gobbledygook, but obviously you would want to copy and paste the <laughs> relevant links to all of your social media platforms, or um, if you're an author like Writer's Atelier caters to an author or a writer, you might want to put um, the different platforms that you write on, um, more reader-specific links, forms, or links to forms, rather, for uh, beta reader applications or ARC reader applications, and so on and so forth. Definitely, you want to include something for your newsletter, obviously. And I'm just stacking all these buttons under there under one another so that they are all of equal width and uh, they'll fit nice and snugly on the page like this. If you just leave them in their individual um, pale little block that they come in when you click button, they're not going to stack as nice and close together as you might want them on the phone. Um, next, I'm adding the social media links. Uh, once again, obviously, you're going to want to use the links to your personal or professional profiles, but I'm just throwing in the generic URLs just so you can see what some of the icons are going to look like. You can upload your own icons for this um, and for ones like for more specific sites um, like Goodreads or Lemonate or um, BookBub, you're probably going to want to upload your own icon for that. Just make sure it's something that's going to match the other icons that you choose, like for Facebook and Instagram. Um, here I'm going into the settings now. You can play around a lot with this. You can add your author logo as the logo in the fave icon. I have some, there are some settings here that I always like to turn off because they're, especially because they're not needed for a link in bio site. And now the domain name is something that I talk about in the course and I actually walk you through step by step how to not only set that up but also how to make a professional um, a professional email that forwards your emails to you know your Gmail or what have you um, and there's other ways to do that but that's what I teach in the course um, you can also add a cute little announcement banner at the top if you want to highlight a new release or if you really want to push your newsletter at some point. Um, and that is, that is it. That is the site. Uh, you can see it, how it looks on a laptop there, but if you click that button, you can also see how it'll look on a phone, um, which is very handy for uh, catering it to the mobile experience, which is what you'll be dealing with when you put it on your um, social media links. So you'll want to add a unique end to the URL there so <laughs> you can find it later. Um, and obviously you would add your custom domain if you know how to do that. And then that's it, you're done. You just copy your link and you paste it wherever you wanna paste it. 
um, happy website creating. I hope this was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe if it was.